What's going on everyone? It is impossible to find new GPUs right now and even the ones that are on the used market, the prices are going far beyond uh, what they should be right now. Which means it's very important that you protect what you have and maybe even get a little extra performance out of it. So if for some reason you weren't able to buy the new 3070 when it came out, good news, you might still be running a 970. This is EVGA's 970, and this one is the, oh, let me double check, SSC variant. Uh, it's a four gig card, or three and a half plus, depending on how you view that. And uh, it's still a fairly popular card, and somewhat capable, depending on what you're playing. And, unlike some of the other cards, um, you can actually find it used right now. Or you might just have it already. So since we're still in this whole new GPU drought, how do you take care of this? How do you get the best performance out of it? And the best things are to keep it clean and take care of your thermal paste. All right, so enough random babbling. Let's get into how you take this thing apart and put it back together. We're trying a new camera angle with this, so if this is terrible, I apologize, but here we go. All right, so take your card and on the back, you're gonna have these mounting screws. We're gonna start by taking these off. Oh, camera angles. We're going to start by taking off these mounting screws right here. Now I think these other screws here are for a plate that's underneath, and this one I think is just for the, what do you call it, this version of the I.O. shield. So I think just those four and we're able to take it off. We are about to find out though for sure. Alright, so we need to disconnect the fans over here. <laughs> Gently. We're going to pretend that came off a lot faster. All right, so now that we've disconnected, this is honestly really easy so far. Um, if you have really old, dry thermal paste, uh, sometimes on the cooler itself, I'll actually use a razor blade and scrape it right off, makes it quick and easy and clean. I do not, do not do that over here. This one, uh, usually either paper towel or Q-tips, and rubbing alcohol will do the trick. Another thing is, when you have it open like this, if this has been a you know dirty, uncleaned card, this is the perfect time, canned air, clean it up before you put it back in your system. See what I mean, how that just comes off? Now that's just to get the bulk of it off. You should still use rubbing alcohol and get the rest of that cleaned off. Now for the next part, be careful. This is where the magic happens, but you should be okay with Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. Um, make sure that when you do reassemble everything, it's dry, the rubbing alcohol, that happens pretty quick. and just a layer to polish it up. So when it comes time to repaste, I usually use Arctic Silver, uh, but when I run out before a video, you can grab this Thermal Take tube from uh, Best Buy, and this will do the trick too. Now some people put a little dab on, some people do more, uh, some people let the heat spreader squish it, others do the spread. I'm paranoid, I do the spread, just so I know it got everywhere, and then I put the cover back on. I mean, that's probably too much. <laughs> but it's out of the tube, so we're gonna roll with it. If you've never done this before, don't worry. It's a lot like putting cream cheese on a bagel. All right, couple very important things to remember when doing this, because I have made this mistake before. One, reconnect your fans before you start screwing anything together. I have made that mistake, it sucks. So do this first. The second thing to remember as we go forward is once this is connected and settled, 
We're gonna flip it back over to put the screws on it. And just like, you know, when you're changing a tire, how you do opposite lug nuts as you go across, we're doing the same thing with this. So we're gonna tighten a little, a little, a little, a little, and a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, until it's nice and snug. That way, all of it, have you ever bit into a burrito and have everything go out the other end? That will happen here if you don't do that alternating pattern. All right, plug back in. These are gonna set in. Once they're settled, we're gonna flip it back over, get the screws in. And there you have it. All right, everyone, that's it. That's how you do it, so I won't keep you any longer. Thank you for watching. I don't say this very often, but like and subscribe. Do that for me. If this helped you, help me out. Like and subscribe. All right, thank you. Goodbye.